At some point, you'll be moved to your room. While you're in the hospital, doctors and nurses will regularly check you, monitoring your progress following surgery. It's important that you realize your time in the hospital is an extension of the surgical procedure. While you're in the hospital, your medical team will continue to monitor your body's immediate reaction to the procedure just performed. That means that your time in the hospital is not really for rest and recovery, and you should expect to have your movements restricted and even your sleep interrupted by nurses or other medical staff. The amount of time that you spend in the hospital would depend on your age, your health, and whether or not any complications arise. Be assured that once your doctor feels that your condition is properly stabilized, you will be allowed to leave. Be sure to follow your doctor's advice and allow the full recommended period of time before you return to your normal routine. All surgical procedures carry some health risks, even of death, but gastric bypass surgery only rarely leads to complications. 2% of patients report bleeding or some infection around one or more incision areas. A smaller number of patients experience leaks or other defects causing internal infections. In fewer than 1% of cases, the new opening between the stomach pouch and intestine is found to be too large or too small and may require further surgery. In extremely rare cases, the surgery has resulted in injury to the liver or spleen, an intestinal obstruction or death. But because gastric bypass calls for dietary and lifestyle changes, patients risk other health problems if they choose not to follow their doctor's eating and dietary instructions. These complications include vomiting, diarrhea, and even malnutrition. Your determination to make lifestyle changes will be the best defense against these problems.